G'day guys, it's Ralph Mayhew here from Video Proc Converter and today I'm going to talk about five useful ways you can reduce the size of your MP4 files all for free. First of all, you need to go to the link in the description below and download Video Proc Converter. And once it's all installed, it'll bring you to this menu screen. First things first, you select video on the open menu screen and then you import your video by manually doing via this function or just dragging and dropping the video you have. I have an mp4 file of some interior real estate video I just shot. Now method one is to select a higher compression efficiency output format. Once your video is uploaded as you can see here you go to target format down here and it gives you these options. In the general profiles up here you can then select the video compression you like with a single click and once you have the one you like you can then click done. My experiments revealed that MOV and obviously MP4 file do not reduce it in size. And what all the others do with the best results you'll get from HEVC video format. This can take a 145 megabyte file and reduce it to 3.7 megabytes with what seems as to be no loss of quality whatsoever. It's as simple as selecting that and clicking run. The second option available to you is to adjust the video parameters. You simply select the codec option and from here you can change your frame rate to 30 frame rate. We can reduce it down to 24. We can keep the original resolution or we can change it from a 1080p say or even lower down to a 720. If you're going to export it onto your phone, 720 will be fine. If you want to show it on a 4K TV, be very wary. That's where you will lose quality. You can also change the aspect ratio. The smaller the aspect ratio, for example, one to one, is a square crop. That will take the center square of your video and use that rather than warping the entire video into a square. It will just select the central square crop. Once you're happy with that, and we're going to go with 16 to 9, tells you what the source is here, where it all started. We can go done and again press run to export that. The third method is to trim the video length. Sometimes your video might have a long introduction or an outro that you can just lop off or cut short. The way to do it is click the cut option here which takes you to this screen and then you simply select the part of your video that you want. Now I happen to know the last two seconds of this video are where we can wrap up and if I need to save space I can cut them and I do that by pressing cut here it creates this clip and if I want to do another cut so I want to just have this part I can cut there too and if I think oh my first one I don't want I can delete that by pressing the cross button and once I'm happy with the final cut I have which let's just say no I want to go back to here and I only want to have this one I'm going to delete that one and then I simply go done and that is ready to export as is and you just press run. The fourth method is to split your video up into segments. This is really handy if you have a very long video that you want to send but to send as an hour long video is just too large. You simply head down here to the toolbox, select the toolbox. Once split is selected you want to double click on that and it will bring up this window and you can choose whether you split your video into three, four, five, so on segments. You can split it every 600 seconds or choose what second you like or you can simply use the sliders over here to select that. And once you're ready you press done and even though you can't see it over here you've split that video up and when you press run it exports it to a single folder and in that folder are all the cut up pieces of video just as you ordered them. The fifth method available to you is to crop the video frame size. To do that you just head over to the crop button. Once the crop button selected this is where you go enable crop and at that stage it gives you this cutout window and you can simply adjust as you like and you will see that on the right screen it's showing you the crop version so the preview of what you've done. You can manually select the values that you'd like to opt in here or choose a preset so you can keep current, you can go to a 16 by 9 which is what they've shot in, a 4 by 3, a 1 by 1 
And as you can imagine, the smaller you crop, the smaller your video gets, but you also sacrifice space. So as you can see, if I press play, that's the final video that will be exported at the end of this. Once you're happy with it, you just press done and it has the file ready for exporting by pressing run. That's the five easy methods you can use to reduce your MP4 size in case you want to send it via text message, you want to send it through a particular app or put it on social media without losing any quality. We'd be really keen to know which one you prefer, which method would you most likely lean into and use and for what purpose. Place that in the comments below. We'd love to chat with you there as we'd also love your support. If you're enjoying this content, please subscribe to the channel, give us a like and return next time for the next video when we help you out with the video editing problem using Video Proc Converter. Thanks so much. Bye.